feel? Feels great, man. It felt like um, so when we were talking the other day. I don't want to say that you were like that you felt like angry or like motivated for sure. Yeah. Um, but kind of almost like a chip on your shoulder and like wanted to prove something. And, can you think of a better way to have, to have done that than what you just did out there? Not really, man. You know that's the proof's in the pudding. You know that's uh, it's in the results at the end of the day. So I just go out there and show it. So I don't really like to talk much. Of course, I'll say things here and there, but in, at the end of the day, it comes down to what you do inside the cage. Did, uh, when you were thinking through this fight, I mean, is that the kind of finish that you sort of envisioned? Did you feel like there would eventually be an opening with the hands? That, absolutely. That yeah. yeah, absolutely. I saw that or me um, uh, submitting him, you know. I mean, so. you, you probably don't sit there and daydream and go, well, maybe I could have like one of the fastest knockouts in the history of this company, or do you? I have no. I don't even know the time. Like okay, I don't even know. Seventeen. Yeah. Nineteen. Uh, yeah, it was, man. It felt really good. You know, it felt really good. I busted my ass in training, and you know, I got the outcome I wanted. So, I always say I get paid per fight, not per round. So, if I can go in there and end it as fast as possible, it always is a great outcome. What's uh, What's going through your head when you connected with the first one? Obviously, I mean, like. Uh, I'm sure you saw the replay. It's pretty brutal, and obviously the ones on the ground, you know, you're just doing your job waiting to get pulled off. Of course, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to stop until the ref pulls me off. So, um, oh, I'm you, sorry, I got side you, you, you knew he was done though with the first one. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, I threw the left hook behind it, but um, yeah, I knew the first one. I saw him drop, and I and I was following through with the left hook. So if the right hand didn't put him out, the left hook would have caught him. <clears throat> start thinking about like redemption and those kinds of things given the way that you left the other promotion and, and knowing that you wanted you know that you had something to prove and you wanted to show people hey man I just I had losses but, but that doesn't mean anything right? I always say records are for DJs you know what I'm saying like uh in combat sports, your record doesn't reset. Boxing, MMA, any combat sports, your record doesn't really reset. It sticks with you for throughout your whole career, you know. And in this competition just like professional teams, you know, it's like, okay, let's say they have a bad season, right? They regroup and they see the things they need to work on to get better, right? And then they can come back and they come back stronger. That's kind of the same thing in the sport. You know, you see what you're doing wrong. Maybe you, you just need to sharpen your tools or, or get better at whatever it is and you do it, you know, and, and that's how it is for, that's the way I look at it. At least, you know, I, I go in the gym hard every day and I, I work hard. My training partners push me hard every day. I, I work with, uh, you know, the, the top guys in the world. So um, I'm just happy. I'm just happy to be where I'm at. You, know? you also had, obviously, a pretty big opportunity to impress the new bosses, I guess, so to speak. Yeah. You're fighting pretty early on the card. And if you just kind of go out there and get your hand raised, maybe you're fighting early on the card again next time. But, I mean, this is the kind of thing where you could probably say to them, hey, man, I sh you know, I told you in advance what I'm capable of. I showed it to you now. Like, I'm, I'm, I just want, I want a bonus, man, you know? Where's, where's my bonus for that, you know? It's like, uh, it's a $50,000 bonus right there. <laughs> Don't you think? I mean, what do you ask for then at this point? I mean, like, do you, do you start thinking about, like, like, here's the type of guy that I want next? And, and then how soon do you want to get back in? As soon as possible. You know, I'd like to fight again um, October 26th. You know, that works for me. That's a good date. You know, let me... Um, Take a week off or so, not even. I'll just get back in the gym and drill and then uh, pick it up, get back to work, you know. Um, I mean, I'm healthy, I'm injury-free, so I'm ready to go. If you need me to fight again tonight, I'll do it. Have you looked through the roster yet to, to see the kind of guys? I mean, I, I called out Austin, so hopefully, okay. yeah. Hopefully he wins this fight and take all his clout that he's got, you know, off of his, uh, his, his husband. <laughs>